Hello from Italy, I am back. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you everything that I packed for my trip to Italy. As you know, I was just recently here with my mom. I did vlog that trip. So I will leave a link up here if you wanna watch to see what we have done in Italy. I'm basically repeating the same itinerary. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you everything that I packed for my trip, dresses, clothes, accessories, and how I styled everything for vacation. So if you have a summer trip coming up or you're just curious on how to style some fun things for summer, this video is for you. So first I'm going to go over some dresses that I packed. You know, I'm obsessed with this butter yellow color. Now this one is from J. Crew. I did a whole J. Crew video as well because I just truly love their summer collection. I like this one too because it's a nice cotton dress. I feel like this one is a little bit more casual, especially for like summer travels, a beautiful day dress, but you could also kind of dress this one up for the evening time. So again, a really beautiful summer dress. Now when we are traveling though, during the summertime, do not forget your deodorant, which is why I'm so excited to be partnering with Wild on today's video. If you are sick and tired of throwing away your single use plastic beauty products, you are going to love Wild because they are shaking things up, creating amazing refillable products, including their deodorant, which firstly, have we seen a more beautiful deodorant case? You can pick out this gorgeous refillable aluminum case for your deodorant. And instead of buying a deodorant stick and throwing it away, instead you keep this case and you buy the refill insert, which is basically the product that you use anyway. And every refill saves 30 grams of plastic that would have just gone to waste. And let me tell you about the scents that you have the options for. I'm currently using the coconut vanilla scent, which is the perfect summery scent, but they also have sandalwood and patchouli, thunderstorm, unscented, so many great ones to try. And all of their formulas are made with natural ingredients, including shea butter and coconut oil. Now, just because they're natural does not mean they're not effective. Oh my goodness. Wild deodorant is so effective. I have been using this on my trip every single day. And I can tell you at the end of the day, while it has kept me smelling fresh, all day long, which is exactly what I need on vacation. And I didn't even have to reapply. So I love that. Plus Wild is available for worldwide shipping and they do offer a super flexible subscription service if you want to try out a few scents. I'm so thrilled to have a product that actually works, is better for the environment, keeps me smelling great all day long and comes in the cutest container. Now, if you are interested in trying Wild, I do have a 20% off code, Dana20, that will get you 20% off your order. Hurry though, the code does not last forever. I will leave all of the information as well down below in that description box. All right, so another dress that I packed is this one. Now I recently did an Amazon video and I basically have raved about this dress. I actually wore this to cocktails last night. Absolutely loved it. Now this is 100% cotton, so it was really comfortable to wear. I love the puff sleeves. It's a lighter peach color. Like this is kind of like a darker orange. As you can see, this color is just so, so good. So one of my favorites. Now, because I am traveling for a longer period of time, I did pack a bit more than, you know, a weekend trip. So Yes, I did pack a lot more options. I did bring one big checked bag and one small rolling bag to fit everything in, plus like my makeup bag and toiletry, which my makeup and toiletry bag too just take up so much room. But anyway, this next dress that I brought is another one from Amazon. I love the cutout detail of this one. I have featured this before on my Amazon must-haves videos. I haven't worn this one yet on my trip. I've kind of been saving it for more of like a fancy dinner. But the material, in my opinion, is a bit more dressy. So again, a beautiful summer option and it's in this nice cream color. So when you get that Italian tan going on, I feel like the color is really gonna pop. Another dress that I packed is this really beautiful pink one. Now I did wear this to dinner in Croatia, loved it. Now the great thing about this dress from a brand called Hale Bob, I love their dresses. They have so many beautiful patterns and designs. This is 100% cut and has beautiful embroidery detail on it. Another butter yellow dress that I packed on this trip. Now this one is from Quince, it's 100% linen and it's a beautiful simple scoop neck with spaghetti straps. It's actually so compressing in the chest area that you don't even have to wear a bra with it, which I'm here for. Again, a beautiful kind of casual dress that you could dress up, but it's just giving like summer vibes. We all know I love this dress. Now this one is from J. Crew, the lemon dress. I feel like you can't go to Italy without packing one lemon item. It could be a dress, it could be a scarf, it could be a bag, it could be something. I think you just need to pack some lemon items and now I really want a lemon cello. But anyway, I love this pattern. It is giving all of the Amalfi vibes. I already wore this on my trip and I honestly cannot wait to wear it again because I just think it's so gorgeous for the Amalfi Coast. I love the print too. The print is just stunning. 
the colors are gorgeous, and I feel so good in that dress. Now, another dress that I packed is this high neck kind of black bodycon one. I usually am not a fan of bodycon, but this one I just thought was so sophisticated and really sexy. So when I wanna go out for like a more like fancy dinner, I'm definitely gonna wear this one, maybe with some bold earrings, and I brought some black sandals. This one is from Amazon, super, super comfy. And even though it's bodycon, I feel like you can feel comfortable in it. And then of course we have my old navy little black dress. Old Navy, by the way, has so many cute styles and this black dress is just perfect. You can just throw it on, go to dinner and not really have to worry about it. So love that one. Another Old Navy dress that I brought is this one. Now this is a full on linen blend dress. I have worn this to a dinner already and I feel like you can really dress this one up if you want. I also packed this high neck J. Crew dress. It's 100% linen, has a gorgeous belt. I think this is a beautiful daytime dress. If you're not going to the beach, you could wear this dress and kind of have a more dressy look. I also pack this Target V-neck white dress, which I call I don't know what to wear today dress because you just can throw it on, add your accessories, and it just looks so put together. I already wore this twice, so such a good find. I think packing a little white dress is essential for any vacation. And then the last dress is this really cute pink leopard print dress. This is from a brand called Hail Bob Again, and this one is actually a bit more heavy and has long sleeves. Surprisingly, at night, it has been a little bit chilly, and I've never experienced that in June. So I'm really glad that I packed this because if it gets a bit cold, I can put this one on and have a bit of a sleeve without bringing a jacket because I did not bring any jackets on this trip. So that's like my go-to dress to kind of stay a little bit warm. Now, one thing that I did on this trip is I packed a lot more separates just because you can mix and match them. You can really extend your outfits. So I brought two pairs of pants, just two. I know. It's crazy. Usually I bring like more than just two. I just did two linen pants. I did one black and one white and I styled these already so many ways. The black ones I wore with different tops already. So definitely a black linen pant essential for any trip. And then I brought these white ones. I was not sure if I should have brought these and I'm so glad I did because I wore the cutest outfit in Dubrovnik and I want to repeat it because it was just a simple silk top white linen pant. I feel like it was such a cute look. And then for some tops, this J. Crew V neck top has been like my saving grace. I've been wearing this to breakfast. I've been wearing it as like a beach cover up. I've been wearing it to dinner. So it's such a simple linen top v-neck with a collar. The sleeves are a little bit oversized and I've been really finding myself wearing and gravitating towards this top so much. In fact, I think I just ordered it in a blue color because I just wear it so, so much. Another style shirt that I love wearing are these short sleeve linen tops. I have one in yellow, again, butter yellow, and I also have it in white. This butter yellow color is from Quince and I actually brought it with me on my last trip to Italy. This shirt kind of inspired me to like go off on this yellow tangent. So I love this top. Again, easy one that you can wear for like morning time, walking around and it's linen. So it's perfect for hot weather. And I also have it in white. You can wear it with so many things. So I love these linen tops. I surprised myself also by packing this gorgeous silk v-neck top. Usually I wear this for like really dressy like times in New York, but I kind of love it for a vacation. I think it's really sexy. I even pair it with the white pants. And again, one of my favorite outfits that I put together, loving it. And then this is new. I haven't worn this yet. This is a strapless linen top. Again, this is from Quince. Quince also has so many cute linen things. If you're a linen girly, definitely check them out because I'm obsessed because the prices are so good. I'm thinking a really cute outfit would be this crop top with my black linen pants for a full on linen look. Of course, I packed my favorite Amazon tanks. I have it in white and black. We already have so much laundry that we have to do. So that's definitely in the laundry bin. But I've been wearing the black one again, just for a casual top to throw on for breakfast or things. I think sometimes people forget to pack like super casual clothes for just more casual errands. I brought two white long sleeve shirts. These are like if it was gonna be a bit cooler out and it's been really warm. So I haven't actually worn these two yet, but I'm looking forward to styling it. Now this one is a 100% linen one from J. Crew. It has a beautiful embroidery. So I'm thinking this could be really cute as like a beach cover up or walking around in the morning time because during the day it's like 80 degrees already. So I think it's just best to wear a dress or a tank top and some shorts. I kind of went pants top shorts, but here we are. I brought three trouser shorts. These are the same trouser shorts from Abercrombie because I love them. I have them in the cream, the yellow, and then I also have them in black. They're in the laundry bin. So these are like my go-to. I've been wearing these nearly every day with all of those tops. It's easy for 
for morning times, breakfast, and that sort of thing. So if you're looking for a casual outfit, I love these trouser shorts. They look dressy and they come in so many colors. Now, what is a beach vacation without bringing some cover-ups? And I brought four like true cover-ups. The first one, I, again, I've been wearing so, so much, even for breakfast and things, because you can throw it on, is this J. Crew linen stripe one. It's so, so comfy and lightweight. I love the stripe color. Now they also have this in a tall inseam. So I'm wearing this in a size large tall. So if you're a tall girl like me, it is definitely long enough. They also have it in the regular length and I wore this on a boat trip already. I've worn this so, so much and I'm really happy that I brought this one with me. Another fun one that I brought, it's like, it has these cool kind of like cutout details. Whatever swimsuit you wear underneath it, it kind of pops through. So I love this one. And before my trip, I ordered some things off of Old Navy and I found this gorgeous, gorgeous white cover up, and I cannot wait to wear this one. We were in Croatia before our Italy trip. So we, I basically wore half the things already and I was kind of like saving some like new outfits for here. So I'm probably gonna be wearing this one this week for sure. It's a long kafkin style. I love it. And then I brought my Amazon linen red cover up. I have this in white. I wear it all the time and I wore the white one when I was here last time and I thought the red color would be really fun for like the Amalfi Coast even with any kind of swimsuit underneath because this isn't see-through so you can just wear this on maybe have one button open and kind of just wear whatever underneath. So these are my swim cover-ups. Now I think for the past two years I filmed what I've packed for Italy and I actually re-watch them every year so I know how much I bring and I think last year I brought over 12 swimsuits and this year I think I did 10. So we have to give me a congratulations because I did not overpack a little bit. Now I brought more swimsuits because if you're going on a beach kind of getaway, especially in Italy, we are here for an extended amount of time, three weeks. We're going to be at the beach nearly every single day. So I'm rewearing these swimsuits many times, even though I brought a lot of them. This first one I've been gravitating so much. This is from Abercrombie. Their swimsuits fit so good. My first year trying them out and I'm hooked. They also just came out with this one in a red color and I'm super bummed that I didn't pick it up for this trip, but I love, love, love this blue color rib swimsuit. If you have a larger chest, definitely check out their underwire swim because it's really, really good, supportive, and I'm loving them. I love it so much. Another swimsuit that I picked up is from Amazon. I'm obsessed with this one. I think I have so many pictures of me wearing it already and it's a really cute one piece with that white trim detail. So, so cute. I also packed this one piece Walmart swimsuit because I could not resist. This also fits like a glove. I love the fun cheetah print as well. Kind of like a cute like neutral swim outfit. Another Abercrombie swimsuit that I brought with me is this gorgeous tie one. Now this blue and white pattern specifically is sold out in this style but again definitely check out Abercrombie swim if you have a larger chest and want really cute underwire swimsuits that actually fit. Definitely give them a look up because they really do fit really really well. Another tried and true swimsuit that I love is this underwire one. Now the fabric on this has a pretty gold kind of fleckle to it and I love it so much. I have it in three colors. Once I find a swimsuit that fits really well, I tend to like go off. So I also have it in black and I also have it in white. I actually brought the white one with me last year and they came out with this one in new colors. And then I have a simple black one piece swimsuit. Definitely a must. Now this is great too because if you do like a water sport, this one's kind of like a sporty swim. Al and I, we went kayaking in Croatia. That was definitely very interesting. My arms are still sore from it and this was like the perfect swimsuit to wear for that because it was kind of a bit more active. So I love this one. This one is from Cupshe. I talk about this one all the time actually and they have it in many different colors. Now some bags that I packed. First one is this J. Crew one. I love that it folds up flat. I have been using this basically almost every night for dinner time just because it goes with all of my outfits and I like that it keeps its structure especially when you have a lot of items in here so it's really well made so I love this clutch but if I'm wearing a more like neutral outfit I will opt for this Amazon kind of fun clutch. Again these all packed flat which is why I brought them on the trip and I love the black and tan and detailing on this one. Next, I brought this fun black clutch. I think this really dresses up any like evening look. Now it doesn't fit much if it's like your phone, your key, and like maybe lip gloss, so not that much, but if you want just a simple look, this one is it. This is a designer inspired clutch. I got this off of Amazon and it's still available. So I will definitely link this one down below as well as all the items in this video. And then I brought this as my beach tote. Now I have been using this every day now and I love this bag. This is from J. Crew. It is 
one of their best sellers. It really matches with all of your outfits. It fits so much inside and I love how just big it is. And as you can see, there's some things in here yet it definitely is still keeping its structure. So I'm really happy that I brought this one with me on the trip. I also brought this fun beach hat. I had this one from Amazon and it goes with all my outfits, keeps your head protected from the sun. And I just love the detailing on this one. For shoes, I brought my trusted Birkenstocks. I wear these almost every day. These are like my casual like sightseeing shoes that aren't a sneaker. So these are like my go-to. I also did bring my Dr. Scholl's shoes. I'm wearing these for like airports, trains, and if we're doing like a lot of walking, I'll put my Dr. Scholl's sneakers on. I also packed these really pretty shiny gold J Crew shoes. These really make a pop to any like evening outfit. So I'm really happy that I brought these beautiful gold sandals with me. And then for evening, I like always bringing a black sandal. These are my designer inspired black sandals. Now, if you watch my Paris vlogs and what I bought in Paris, you do know that I bought the Hermes sandals and I got so many questions on, are they comfortable? How do you walk in them? So these are the first time that I'm wearing them. Now I will say the bottom is definitely a little bit slippery. So I'm kind of just breaking them in. I wanted to get these rubber sole before I left, but I didn't have time. So I just brought these with me and these are really dressing up all of my outfits. So I brought both of these. Now the great thing about these is that you can wear these like to the beach cause you don't have to worry about getting wet. Like these you really can't wear to the beach. You can't really get them wet. So definitely more like an evening shoe only. I love dressing up my looks with some scarves. So I brought a few. They don't really take up too much room in your suitcase, which is why I love to bring them. Now this first one is more of like a Pareo. So it's perfect for the beach as like a beach cover up. I haven't worn this one yet and I'm really pumped to wear it on this trip. I think the colors are just so gorgeous. Another similar style. This is an extra large soft square. Now I think the best way to kind of wear this is to kind of just like dress up your outfits over your shoulders. You could also tie it on your bags and this pattern is just so gorgeous. I think this is a beautiful like color palette to kind of bring all your outfits together. You can wear yellows, you can wear pinks, whites. I also brought the J. Crew lemon one because I mean, we we're in the Amalfi Coast. And even with this dress, I feel like this could be really cute on your bag just to tie in that yellow. And I brought this one as well. This one is from Amazon. I love wearing these in my hair on the beach. I always get like sunburn in my root area. So I think wearing a scarf in your hair on the beach, you can protect your hairline and like still look like very Dolce Vita. And then I brought this one. I picked this one up in Paris and I'm so excited to wear it. I love the fun colors as well. It's a beautiful blue pink. I got this at a flea market in Paris. So it's like a vintage Celine scarf and I thought it was really fun to bring on vacation. And then of course I brought some jewelry with me. I probably won't go over all of the pieces because I truly brought a lot, but I will leave my favorite jewelry pieces linked down below. I brought a lot of like bold earrings, necklaces, jewelry. And I think one of the best ways to kind of extend your outfits on vacation is to just add in some jewelry pieces. I also am adding in more color with my jewelry. Like I love this one. This is an Amazon necklace. These beautiful blue blue bracelets are just so gorgeous for a vacation. I'm gonna add a picture right here of all of the jewelry looks that I have been wearing. And besides like my favorite travel essentials, my toiletry kit, my makeup, my underwear and socks. Yes, I packed those as well. And I also packed like my beach essentials. Like I love this little Amazon towel. By the way, this color combo is called Positano. So I thought it was appropriate to pick this color combination in this beautiful peachy color. It packs up so flat. So if you wanna go to the beach here, like we're gonna go like almost every day, this packs so flat for your bag. We also packed like chair clips, just fun like beach accessories, a fan, a travel fan. I do also have like travel must have videos. You wanna check out like even more like fun gadgets to pack on a trip. And then of course, yes, I did pack some sunglasses. These are my prescription ones from Warby Parker. If you have like contacts or something, these are great. Cause I think they're like very cute. And then these are just like from Amazon, easy ones just to throw on. I love the round shape. And then I have some more polarized ones. These are my Maui gyms. I don't know, know if they make this style anymore, but I love the shape of these. And then these are from J Crew, which again, I think these shape is so cute. I like how big and bold this style is. All right, so there goes all of the outfits that I packed for my Italy and Croatia vacation. It's a longer trip, so yes, I did pack a little bit more things, but I am re-wearing most of these items, if not twice, three times. So definitely getting used to everything that I packed. And if I don't wear something, I'm going to be very upset because it took over my suitcase. I definitely want to make sure everything is worn at least once. I also want to know what is the most underrated thing that you pack on vacation. Mine is small sandwich Ziploc bag. 
because you never know what use you could use for them. So I wanna know what's the most random thing that you always pack on vacation and why. And so we can have a fun comment box down below. With that, I hope you guys have a super awesome rest of the week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.